my topic is faith, so I was thinking about faith-related memories, and there was one time, I think it was my freshman year, we had a, I think it was a tornado watch, and so everyone in the school was freaking out, there were crazy parents outside, and me and a group of students, we all went to the teacher's lounge, and we gathered around and prayed for the safety of each other in our school, and that really meant a lot to me that we knew each other well enough that we could do that. CHS has definitely had its ups and downs with me. Uh, some days I absolutely hate being here. Other days it's one of the greatest places that I could be. A couple of outstanding memories uh, making my way down to Lakeland in the Final Four and making some huge plays on the offense, uh, football. Probably my favorite memory is being on homecoming court with seven of my really close friends that I've grown up my whole life. Just because I get to be around some of the good friends that I have and be able to come here and goof off and just really just have fun with them and in between classes is where we get most of our learning from anyway. <laughs> Second favorite is probably going to Lakeland with both basketball teams, girls and boys, and winning the state championship for softball. I didn't play on any teams, but I got to go and experience it. It was pretty cool. When I think about faith, I'm reminded of my faith. You know, my faith is I believe in Jesus Christ, and then He came, lived a perfect life, and died for my sins, and one day He's coming back again. And as a Christian, I'm supposed to shine my light and represent Him wherever I go. And a lot of time I'm at CHS, so I try to shine my light for Jesus here at CHS. When I think of adversity, it reminds me of the hard times and the hardship of people that I've been through and like overcoming it to be the better person. I think about perseverance, I think about me tearing my ACL. I uh, tore my ACL my senior year during the third football game on September the 13th, which was
which was actually Friday the 13th, so it was really just bound to happen. Uh, really, I've just persevered through that injury and just been able to keep grinding and try to become the better person that I can be through that. And by sticking it out through the weight room and just persevering through physical therapy, I've been able to go on to sign to play Division II football at Mississippi College. And I know that if I wouldn't have persevered through that injury, then I would have just given up and I wouldn't have been able to be blessed with the opportunities that I do have now. And so really perseverance to me just means to be able to grind it out and just become the better person that I can be through the good situations and the bad. When I think about inspiration, I'm reminded of when in October my little sister was born with Down syndrome. And um, you know, my family didn't really know how to react at first, but just the community, the school, everybody came together. It was awesome just having that support for when she was born and us just going through all that. It was awesome. Alright boys, y'all remember that one night we came up here and stacked them tires up so the kids couldn't walk to school? <laughs> First of all, I was mad because there were some good sets in there and y'all wouldn't let me take none of them home. I could have got some real money off there. Kelly Weeks was coming out and used them. And we uh, seen a truckload of tires. When I say a truckload, I mean semi-truckload. Semi-truckload, yeah. like nice. over a hundred tires piled up. And wheels kind of just started to spin. Yeah. Speaking of tired, you know, it's a pun. It's a pun. <laughs> we took three loads of tires, brought them over. What was what we sat about five wide? Yeah. Five wide like and clogged up the corridor so the kids get to the class. Well, I, civic duty. I call it Stay peer out. pressure. Well, yeah. I felt like well. I felt like I got peer pressured into this. Cruz, if you remember right, we couldn't even put them in the back of the truck for this weeks over here. I'm talking about, hey, that's a good tire right there. I got the weeks, the natural born weeks. Can't let nothing go to waste. The natural born weeks come out of here. They still over if you want them, we had to take them back. Yeah, I mean, really, if we look at this, it's the school's fault. Yeah, they I mean, shouldn't have left the tires. We man. didn't steal tires. the tires. Yeah. Your what fault. we done was, we called it relocating. Recycling and remodeling. Relocate. Funny thing was, next morning, up here in our school clothes, and we had to go clean it up and get all wet and nasty. Because it wasn't like they didn't know who did it. Yeah, I didn't. Do I mean, boys, let's be honest. Every prank that went down, they uh, they all had a pretty <laughs> good idea who done it. Because we did all of them. I plead, <laughs> I plead the fifth.
Guys, let me follow! Come on! <laughs>